Let's talk about the liver and some really important things you can do to help improve your ability to detoxify and reverse damage to the liver. Now, I have personal experience uh, with having a very damaged liver. And um, some people will ask me, uh, well, did you cure your liver, right? Well, I have no residual symptoms from it. And I seem to have resolved my liver problems. But if I go off my plan, okay, just a little bit, I will start to experience symptoms of a liver problem. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because sometimes well, people will have this idea that if you cure something, you can then go back to your normal diet or your regular diet and be able to tolerate uh, some of those foods. For example, let's take diabetes. I had someone actually ask me this. Well, um, will your diet uh, fix my diabetes so I can then go back to my regular plan? I'm like, no, you can't do that because that would be equivalent to having a car that runs on unleaded. Now you're going to switch to diesel and think that your car is going to run normal. If you put diesel in an engine that's not designed for diesel, okay, and you ruin it, you can't go back to diesel, okay? You have to use the fuel that that car is designed to run on. The same thing with the body. Our bodies were meant to run on ketone fuel. Any glucose that it needs, it can make very, very easily. And this especially applies to the liver. If you overload the liver with too much glucose or carbs, um, it's not gonna work right. So the liver needs certain things to function, okay? But what I wanna talk about is something a little bit different. And that is glutathione. Glutathione is one of the most important antioxidants for your liver and pretty much for all your cells. All your cells have glutathione in it in very, very large quantities. And it's a very important, I like to call it a superhero because it's there to um, protect the liver. It's there to help repair the liver from damage. And there's a lot of research on glutathione. There's actually over 100,000 uh, peer review papers in scientific journals just on glutathione. So it's well-researched. And so it's heavily involved with the repair actions of the liver, as well as the detoxification function of your liver. And so whether you have a fatty liver or an inflamed liver or scar tissue or cirrhosis of the liver, maintaining your glutathione levels is going to be a very, very important thing to do. Now, as far as detoxification, glutathione has special affinity for heavy metals, okay, especially mercury. It pulls it out of the brain and brings it to the liver and out through the bile, and it gets it out of the body. I mean, that's like miraculous. It helps to change poisons that are fat soluble that are stuck in the body to water soluble harmless particles. That's, that's pretty cool. It helps to break down things like hydrogen peroxide that your cells make uh, as one of the defense mechanisms in the immune system. Your, your body makes a lot of hydrogen peroxide. So glutathione comes in there and helps to uh, neutralize that. If you have overdosed on something called acetaminophen, then glutathione can come in there and neutralize that effect. If you drank a lot of alcohol, glutathione can help um, minimize the damage to your liver. If you are taking medications on a regular basis, you should be making sure your glutathione is at a higher level. I mean, there are so many health conditions that are connected to low levels of glutathione. There's over 75 major diseases that are associated with low glutathione levels. And the problem is as we age, we make less and less of it. So I'm gonna talk about how to keep it at a higher level in your body. It can also improve insulin resistance. It can help counter exercise fatigue and it can protect the mitochondria. That's one of its main functions. The mitochondria is all about producing energy. And when you get damage in the mitochondria, you're more susceptible to getting cancer. And so glutathione is directly involved in keeping the mitochondria from becoming too damaged so you can prevent cancer. So it's a really important molecule. All right, so how do we become depleted with glutathione? Well, number one, we get older, okay? Number two, trauma. The more trauma you have, the less glutathione you're gonna have. And so the need for glutathione goes up. The problem is when you get traumatized, you end up in the hospital, right? And then what do they feed you? 
all the things that deplete glutathione. So that's not good. So junk food, conventional foods deplete glutathione. Alcohol depletes glutathione. Stress depletes glutathione. Toxins, exposure to heavy metals, plastics, chemicals, medications, drugs, all deplete glutathione and increase the need for glutathione. Overtraining, let's say you go to the gym and you exercise too much. Now you end up with low amounts of glutathione. And of course, being a pre-diabetic, a diabetic, or eating a lot of carbohydrates, especially refined carbohydrates, sugars, can deplete your glutathione levels. So the question is, how do we beef up this number? No pun intended. Well, it just so happens that beef is loaded with glutathione. So eating beef is a good thing. And eating animal products will give you more glutathione than um, plant sources. However, plant sources will also give you glutathione, especially the ones that are high in sulfur, okay? That would be like the cruciferous family of vegetables, um, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, radishes especially. Now, other sulfur vegetables like garlic and onion, very, very good to increase your glutathione. And so when you have your animal meats, like whether you have your beef or your fish or whatever, add the garlic and onion to it to really optimize that glutathione. Now, there's other supplements you can take to increase your glutathione as well. NAC is one. Alpha lipoic acid is another. Curcumin, which is from turmeric, is another. Vitamin D will help you. SAMI is another. And melatonin. And I'm not talking about the supplement melatonin. I'm just talking about the melatonin that you can get from being exposed to infrared light. So being out in the sun will increase melatonin, which will then increase glutathione. And melatonin is a very powerful antioxidant as well. So the combination is really good. And then also what uh, the sun will do for your stress, it lowers your stress levels. And so all these things together can compound this amazing effect to increase glutathione. But I think it's important to understand the mechanics of glutathione so you can understand that if you were traumatized, for example, you had an injury, well, definitely start getting more glutathione to counter that effect. Or let's say you slipped off your program and drank some alcohol. Well, now beef up your glutathione levels or you know, you're, you're aging. The older you get, the more stressed you are, the more that you have to take medications, the more important it is to keep your diet really, really clean to increase your glutathione, to counter and neutralize the effect that these things can have on your body. Now, there's a lot more to know about the liver. And so I want you to watch this video next. I put it up here. Check it out.